kissing greetings to our viewers at home. We thank God for his mercies once again for gathering us together that we talk about his word. We are glad that he is tabernacling with us today because he promises that when we deal with his word, he is there with us. Our lesson today is lesson 13 and the title says From Dust to Stars. With me here today is Brother Dandala, Brother Muntle, Sister Mkonza, I'm Sister Nube, your host. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Brother Dandala will pray for us. Gracious Father in heaven, King of the universe, we come before the throne right now. We want to thank you for this moment. We want to thank you that you have allowed us to come together and study your word. We ask for your Holy Spirit, dear Lord, to come and uh, tabernacle with us as we, uh, as we study your word. May your spirit be with your people out there, our viewers, as we study your word. May you help them to understand each and everything that we will study here. All this, Father, we ask in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Welcome once again. We have been studying the book of Daniel. And today we'll be doing the last lesson on the book of Daniel. We've been seeing the rise and fall of kings. Mm -hmm. And in this particular lesson, we will see the rise of a king who will never fall, mm -hmm. whose kingdom shall be established forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Our lesson text, today, our memory text today comes from Daniel chapter 12, verses 3. I'll read in your hearing. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. That is Daniel chapter 12, verses 3. Um, to comment on that memory text, um, the key word there that I pick up is those who are wise. And you ask yourself wisdom, according to the Bible. And there's only one key text that comes to my mind now, is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, that says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. And if we want to be part of these wise people that we're talking about here in, in Daniel chapter 12, we need to fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. And also in Proverbs 4, verse 18 and 19, it says, But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. Mm. So this verse here is talking about just people, people mm. that have mm. learned the mm. justice of mm. God and have aligned themselves to the, to the side of the Lord Jesus Christ and have had themselves associated with Jesus Christ in a redemptive manner mm. because they've chosen wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, while, while, while we're still there, uh, we're still talking about wisdom. I think uh, on, the, on the memory text as well, um, right at the bottom, it says, and those who turn, who turn um, many to righteousness mm -hmm. uh, shall be like stars forever mm -hmm. and ever. Mm -hmm. I think um, it, it, the wisdom that, as you have explained, it, it, it will not only be um, something that we possess as a personal virtue, mm -hmm. uh, something that will make us uh, big, you, you understand, to, 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 to make people fear us and all that. But I, I, I think it's um, what will make us shine like stars, it's, 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 it's the desire to, 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 to want other people become uh, as wise as you are mm. and as you have explained that um the wisdom that the bible is talking about here the lesson is talking about here is the fear of the lord so mm. the desire to have other people fear the lord it's the one that will actually make us shine like stars mm. if i can put it that way yeah. mm. Amen. and also whilst we're still there on the shining like stars yeah. the writer says some will die or be put to death yeah. And thus go back to the dust, mm. but they will be raised to eternity as stars. Mm. <laughs> I want us to look at the introduction of our lesson today. The book of Daniel begins with Nebuchadnezzar invading Judea, mm. um, going to take the children of Israel captive. Mm -hmm. And it concludes in contrast mm. with Michael standing up to mm. deliver God's mm. people. Mm. Mm. Now let, let us uh, discuss the contrast a little bit. Nebuchadnezzar is invading Judea. Mm. Mm. A covenant broken mm -hmm. and God says to them should you not listen to my laws this is what shall happen to you mm -hmm. so the covenant is broken they are taken into captivity yeah. mm -hmm. and then end time covenant mended mm -hmm. Michael stands up for mm -hmm. his children to mm -hmm. deliver them to everlasting life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. further on 
the book of Daniel also indicates to us mm. that uh, Daniel and his friends, even under threat, Mm. choose to remain faithful to God. Mm. They're even mm. thrown into a fiery furnace, mm. but yeah. they choose to remain faithful to God. Yeah. That also contrasts to the end time church. Mm. Yeah. Regardless of the fiery furnace of trials Amen. that they'll be going through, yeah. they will choose to remain faithful. Yes. Yes. And then the one who has seen as the son of man during the time of Nebuchadnezzar yes. shall come to their redemption yes. as well. Yes. Yes. Amen. You know, just, just um, on this notion that you are looking at, of Daniel and his companions. Paul writes to, I believe it's the Romans, if not the Corinthians, he says to them, the things that happened in the past, they're written for our ensamples upon whom the ends of the earth are come. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 10. Romans 10, yes. Yes, So we look at the life of Daniel, we look at what is happening to them and how they behave themselves, and we prepare ourselves for how we should be able to handle the crisis that is coming upon us. If... If we we, we, were, we, we we remember very well what happened in Revelation, we were told that there is a time that is coming, mm. a time where we are going to experience trouble like never before. Mm. And mm. here we are told that these companions are serving as our examples. Mm. That even, even through the hardest and the most fiercest of trials, mm. we can also remain faithful. Yeah. Mm. 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 And let us also uh, notice here in the introduction, it speaks about uh, Mikhail, yes. the priest, standing up for, for his last day church. Yes. Now, I want us to look in depth who Mikhail is. Yes. Mikhail, our mm-hmm. prince, who is he? You will notice the book of, of, of Daniel. Every ruler that is talked about is pagan. Mm-hmm. And then uh, when it comes towards the end, a mm-hmm. ruler is mentioned. Mm-hmm. This is a divine ruler. Yeah. Yeah. He's coming to rule uh, the right way, the way God has wanted things to be done from the beginning. And this ruler cannot be defeated by any other. Yes. Yes. This Amen. ruler is coming to set up his kingdom forever for Amen. his children. Mm. And perhaps maybe if we can unveil who Michael is mm. as the prince, because there is a debate. And some people love to say that, no, Michael was just an angel mm. Mm. and that there was nothing more or nothing less to that. Mm-hmm. And others would go to an extent of saying, well, before the Savior was incarnate as Jesus as known, he was just Michael. Mm. Mm. So we need to understand who is this, who is Michael? this Michael. And mm. also when we look at um, Daniel, mm. it's a few years before Jesus is born. Mm. I think it's about 2000 years before mm. the master is born, if not four. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. About five or so. Yeah, yeah but it's 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 a, it's a century or so before the birth of the Messiah. Yeah. So at this point in time, if the Savior is not incarnate, isn't born as yet, then his Old Testament appearance must be investigated. Mm-hmm. Then how did he appear in the Old Testament mm-hmm. time? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now there are those who advocate that Michael is Jesus, mm-hmm. and there are those who advocate that he is not. Mm-hmm. What we need to settle the matter is the, the, the testimony of the scriptures. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you understand. So yes, it's yeah. very yeah. integral for us to identify Michael from the Bible itself. And I think maybe if we can help each other and open Joshua chapter 5, verse 14. Okay. Okay, and then the other one opens Daniel chapter 9, verse 25. And then I'll read Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. So remember, it's it's Joshua chapter 5, verse 14 mm-hmm. and 15. Daniel chapter 9, verse 25. I think Brother Tandala should take that one. Okay. Daniel chapter? Daniel chapter 9, verse 25. I will okay. read Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Only these three verses. Only these three verses. Yes, while we are still looking for those verses, let me continue to add to say, maybe what has caused confusion about the identity of Jesus is that every time when Jesus is doing a certain duty, Mm -hmm. he assumes a certain title. Oh. That will suit yes. that particular duty. Amen. Mm-hmm. If he's providing, he's, he becomes God the provider. Amen. Mm-hmm. If God's people are in trouble, he becomes that angel's with, angel with the sword. Yes. Mm-hmm. That comes yes. to the rescue yes. of God's children. Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's not forget that whilst we look for those verses. Now in mm-hmm. Daniel chapter 12 verse 1, it says, And at that time shall Michael, well when you read it in the Hebrew rendition is Michael, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And shall and there shall be a great time of trouble such as there never was since a nation ever okay, since there was a nation even to that same time. But I love here he's called Michael, he's also called the prince. Mm. So from, from chapter from chapter twelve, verse one, he is Michael the Prince. Mm. 
we should not forget the prince element. We yes. should not forget the prince. Can we get Daniel chapter 9, um, verse 25? 9.25. Yes, sir. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the command, for, from the going forth of the commandment to yes. restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, mm. the prince yes. shall be seven weeks right. and three score and two weeks. So we get Michael the prince. Now we are getting Messiah the, the prince. prince. Yes. Can we now go to um, Can we go to Joshua? Joshua, Joshua chapter five, five verse fourteen and fifteen. It reads, and he said, Nay. But as captain of the host of the Lord am I now come. Yes, hmm. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship, and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? Amen. And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, yes. for the place whereon thou standest is holy. Amen. And Joshua did so. Amen. Hmm. So can we agree on that verse that the captain of the host is uh, the same power that revealed itself in, Ezek yes. in Exodus chapter 3. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. The one who, when Moses drew close to that angel that was on that burning uh, bush, yeah. he yeah. said, take out your feet. And Moses then recognizes that that angel is actually the Lord. Yes. In the Hebrew, the word used there for Lord is Yahweh or Jehovah. Yes. Yes. So yeah. when we connect all of these, first Michael is, is the prince. Yeah. Then he's Messiah, the prince. Mm -hmm. Then when we look at this Messiah, the prince, we see him also as a captain of the host. Mm -hmm. And we see that this Michael entity is divine. Mm -hmm. He is, he is the, the, the captain of mm -hmm. God's military. Mm -hmm. And here, what I love about him being a captain, which is the master or, or, or the captain of the military as Michael. Mm -hmm. Michael means who is like unto God. Mm -hmm. But Michael himself is the savior in a militant form mm. remember when we go to um, revelations chapter 12 i think it's about verse 89 somewhere there mm -hmm. where michael and his angels fought against yes. lucifer yes. and his angels the dragon and his angels uh -huh. and the mm. dragon prevailed not mm. the dragon was defeated by mm. michael exactly mm. and this is where we see that this michael entity is not only the captain of the host, mm. but he is a captain who has defeated the enemy as a captain of the host mm. from heaven, defeating him down on earth. Mm. But now let's come back now to, to, to the timing of Daniel chapter 12. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. The timing of Daniel chapter 12. Mm -hmm. Now I usually advocate that if you want to understand the meaning of a verse that you're looking at, mm. you need to at least read five verses after yeah. and five verses before. Yeah. Yeah. And when we read five verses before, we come now to uh, Daniel chapter 11 from verse 40, mm -hmm. where you get the context that from verse 40, it's the time of the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you come to verse 1, it says, at this time, mm -hmm. which is the time of the end, mm -hmm. shall Michael stand? stand mm -hmm. So we see then that the standing of Michael, which is Jesus in his militant form, to defend his host, mm -hmm. happens at the time of the end. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right at that time where the Bible says, now this is the last, this is the absolute end. This mm -hmm. is where Michael stands up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the time of the end is not the end. It's not the end. It's mm -hmm. the time of the end. Mm -hmm. okay. And this time of the end also correlates to, the, to what uh, the Michael himself is doing in the heavenly century. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That during investigative judgments, that's in Daniel chapter 7, at the time of the end, Michael stands up and comes closer to the ancient of days. Mm -hmm. To do what? To intercede for his people, Amen. of whom he stands for in the last days. Amen. And this is just one of the jewels that I got from studying this verse. Oh, amazing. <laughs> let me just add a little bit there. Yes, um, actually, let me conclude uh, drawing a few gems from what uh, Brother Mutla has already said. Mm -hmm. So here we, we see Jesus mm. standing up for the three people. Boys, oh, which which gives beautiful. us promise mm -hmm. he shall stand up for his end church yeah. mm -hmm. we see we see jesus as the commander yes, mm -hmm. and the ruler of the armies of heaven mm -hmm. we see him uh, fighting against the little horn mm -hmm. and the kings of the north yes. to redeem his children Amen. we see uh, him preserving heaven by fighting with the dragon and his angels and they are taken away from heaven if we look at the book of revelation then we see him coming as the king of kings mm -hmm. as we are talking about the yeah, final yeah, set yeah, kingdom yeah, yeah. so michael is there from the beginning mm -hmm. amen. assuming the different amen. roles mm -hmm. up amen. to the end of time amen. Amen. can you just also add um, a small thing um just to talk on the on the timing as well yes, you know when you remember the the story of stephen when Stephen was stoned, mm -hmm. it said he saw Jesus sitting mm -hmm. on the right hand of the Father, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you look at where Stephen was, 
at the end of that chapter, we are introduced to Saul, who becomes Paul. Of Tarsus. And it cannot have been the time of the end where Michael stands up for his people. And hence, mm. Christ is, is still seated in that crisis. Mm. Because Paul then gives us a time frame when to expect the time of the end to be. Mm -hmm. By saying that that time will not come until there be a great falling away first. Mm -hmm. So when Paul mm -hmm. says mm -hmm. that, he's telling us that when Stephen was seeing Christ seated, it was not the time of the end. Mm. Yes. That was still coming. Mm. Mm. That was the time. So we cannot think, oh, yeah, but if he stand up for his people, why didn't he stand up for, for Stephen? Yeah. Yeah. That's not the time of the end. Yeah. Mm. He stand up yeah. for his people, yeah. not for, for his people. So sometimes we feel we feel like uh, like we're in Stephen's position mm. where God does not seem to be standing up for us. Mm. But there is a time when God is going to finish everything. Mm. And when you're going through, go through. Mm -hmm. When you're going through, go through. Amen. There's a time when God is going to fix everything, put everything together. Revelation close on a beautiful note of a recreated earth. Mm -hmm. Everything fixed and returned to normal. Mm -hmm. Until that time, Jesus Christ sometimes sits. Mm -hmm. But there comes a time mm -hmm. when, when Michael stands, stands up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amazing. While, um, I think while we're still there, uh, we're still talking about Christ standing. I think you've touched it uh, a little bit um, that he is standing at the right hand of the Father as an mm. advocate. Mm. We we also need to understand that when Christ stands there for us there in heaven, he is not just standing to just defend us from our enemies, but mm. he is there to be an advocate for us. Yes. As John says, um, if we sin, we yeah. have an advocate with the yeah. Father. Mm. Mm. Yes, true. Uh, and I want us to also notice that... Um, Mikhail stands for his people. Now we want to find out who are these people. Mm. How do we separate them from the rest of the people? Mm. Mikhail mm. stands only for those whose mm. names are written in the book. Mm. And oh, which yes. book? Mm. The book of life. Mm. Yeah. How do they get their names there? Mm. 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 They have chosen to walk with God. Mm. Mm. They have chosen to walk within the precepts, mm. to mm. keep the law. Not only mm. are we saying that uh, without proof, Mikhail himself is working with them. Yes. Mm. He is doing the investigation. Mm. He, he has proof that yeah. these are mine. Yeah. Yeah. So when he stands up for them, he's standing for those whose names have been written in the book of life yes. with investigation and proof. Yeah. yeah. The last days. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And you know, just a verse that I wrote there on my notes. I, I forgot about it until now. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah 3 verse 13. Yes, ma'am. It says, The Lord standeth up to plead and mm. standeth to judge the people. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. The Lord exactly. standeth up to plead and, wow. and standeth to judge Michael the people. Michael yeah? exactly. Then we come to the books. Mm. Mm. And it says that those, uh, everyone that shall be found written in the book, mm. doesn't say in a book, in the, the book, book. There. there is the book that oh. you all want to be in yeah. when you are wise. Mm. And when you go to the book of Revelation, two two points, two spots that I would like us. Can somebody just open uh, 13 verse 8 um, and then another 20 verse 12. Revelation chapter 13 verse 8. Yes. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Mm -hmm. whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. And then 20 verse 12. Wow. That's and I saw, oh, sorry, and I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Mm -hmm. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which mm -hmm. is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to to their works. Now, chapter 13, verse 8 says, right? All that dwell on the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life. Mm. Being written in the book of life is like being being registered, being your name being registered for a secret uh, security detail. Mm. Like mm. you want to be protected. Mm. You want to be covered by security. Mm. So, the people that are written in the book of life are the ones that receive this security that is necessary for the end time. Mm. Because when you look at it, when Jesus stands up, it's a crisis because he stands up to defend his people. Meaning now Christ wants to attend wickedness, right? Mm. And it reminds you of the chapters when we're looking at the plagues in Revelation. Mm. And when, when you look at the plagues, it says they are the manifestation of the wrath of God. Mm. which God already declared in chapter 13, saying that if you receive the mark of the beast, chapter 14 says that you will receive, you will drink of the cup of the wrath of God, which is unmingled. Mm. 
Mm. So mm. here we see that you want to have your name written in the book of life. Mm. Mm. And when you look at chapter 20, chapter 20 says, this is a record of the works that we do. Mm. It's, it's a record of our, our, our behavior, our character, the manifestation of whether we believe in God or we don't believe in God mm. according to what we do. Mm. Because Christ says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. There is an expectation of activity to be done on our side mm. for us to prove Amen. that we belong to God. Mm. And it says that the things that are written in the book, they're based on our works. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And to be mm. written in the book of life, it is to be removed mm. from the book and for, for him to, to have your bad deeds deleted yeah. because Christ has covered them with his blood. Amen. So there is Christ's redemption yeah. sacrifice coming there to place you and to write your name in the mm. book of life because it's called the Lamb's book of life. Mm. The Lamb's book of life. Mm. The yeah. Lamb that was slain. Mm. The Lamb's book of life. So mm. it belongs to him because mm. he was slain. Mm -hmm. And that mm. blood that flowed is the mm. reason why we enter mm. into the book of life. Now, mm. if you're outside and not covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, it's a crisis. Hey, it's a crisis. Mm. It's a crisis of immense mm. proportion. Mm. We cannot even begin to understand what the hailstone that is the size of a man's head looks like. Mm. We are complaining mm. about golf balls. Mm. You know, the hail that we've seen so far, that we say, that's big hail, it's golf ball. And when you look at the place, it says it will be the size of my head. Mm. So what stops that hailstone from killing me? Do I want to be a part of that? No. no. I want to be protected. So the way to be protected and to flee from the plagues is to mm. have your name written in the book of life. Yeah. And you remember Moses when he was pleading mm. with God. Mm. He says, if you're not going to go with us and you're not going to uh, turn away your wrath from these people, blot my name. Mm. And God mm. says, no, I'm not going to blot your name. I blot the name of those that don't want to be in there. Mm. So you choose whether you want to be in or you don't want to be in. Mm. Mm. You choose. Mm. So what do we do today has a bearing on whether we are covered by heaven's secret detail. Mm. If we don't, the Lord of the hosts that we're just talking about, Michael, he has no host to cover us, no mm. host to protect us, because mm. we chose not to subscribe to the host service. Mm. So get your name in. Yeah, mm. get, get your name, your name in. in. Oh, wow. get your name Amazing. In. <laughs> it's, 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 it's so beautiful. You've explained it so beautiful. Sure. There's just uh, one thing that I would want to add while we're still talking about um, being written in the book. Um, if we remember, if we can go back to Daniel chapter 7, mm -hmm. when the little horn is persecuting the saints and all that, um, you will find that God, the Bible actually says that the saints of God will be given to the little horn so that they can be persecuted. Perse persecuted. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, at <clears throat> some point, God will actually allow the evil forces to test us, to see, to try us so that we prove ourselves mm -hmm. if we are true followers of God. Yes. Thus will be written in the book. Mm -hmm. If we fail to prove ourselves like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, then our names will be blotted out if we fail to prove. Mm -hmm. Our names will not be written in the book of life yeah. if we fail. Yes. But if we stand and we, we, even if we be thrown into the den of lions and say, we are going to serve this God regardless whether he rescues us from your hand or not. Our names will be written in the book because we, we stood for the name of God. Mm. Amen. Amen. Let us also remember there is not only the book of life, there is also a book of remembrance. Mm. Yes. That's the heaven's database. Yeah. Just in case someday the devil wants to redeem himself. What is it that I, that I did? Or oh, people that are part of his host. So we have a heavenly database wow. yeah. that yeah. keeps yeah. the deeds of men yeah. day yeah. and night. Yeah. Not only that, we have guiding angels mm. that were given one to every person from the time we were born. Mm. As the sun sets every day, mm. they go back to the Father. Mm. With a report. Mm. And mm. give a report mm. of everything that we have done. Mm. And those reports make part of the database of heaven. Mm. So when we say somebody has been written in the book of life, it is true justice, they are vindicated, it has been uh, investigated, mm. they belong there. Mm. And when yeah. somebody goes elsewhere, it is because it is a true reflection, it has been mm. investigated, they have chosen mm. not to be written in the book of life. Amen. And, 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 and you know, one thing maybe that we must also consider is, mm. if God is God, his memory is perfect, yeah. mm. why does he need books if god is god and his memory is perfect mm. why does he need books why does he need to keep a record mm. because his memory is perfect god can remember everything mm. his memory is perfect 
Yes. For what reason does he does he keep books? It because for it's for us. Mm. It's judgment. Mm. And judgment needs Okay, you guys don't have perfect memories. So here. Yes, the proof. You don't have I get you don't have memories like mine. All right. Uh, here. Let look for yourself. Mm -hmm. That is why it says that the judgment was seated and the books were opened. The books mm -hmm. are not open to for God to uh, like King Azarias when he was asking about Mordecai. Ah, uh, bring that book. I can't sleep. Let me see. God mm -hmm. does not need that. God is mm -hmm. not like like King Atazexis where he needs to be reminded of what Mordecai did that mm -hmm. was good. And no, mm -hmm. God can remember. Hmm. But when God sits in judgment hmm. and we want to we want to investigate whether your decision, Lord, to let Bona in or not was hmm. fair and just, hmm. he says, no, no, look at his record, look at the record, here, look, and then you can you can decide whether I'm just or I'm, hmm. I'm unjust. Hmm. And you know, that is an amazing thing about our God, that hmm. our God is not punitive, he's not, hmm. he's not out for blood, he's not paying hmm. for our blood, he's not, he does hmm. not get anything out of, out of, out of vindicating himself, mm. he mm. he is so just, and he he believes. I don't even no no believes the wrong word. He understands that I am this just, but mm. they don't understand. Mm. And for their sake, I'm gonna go the extra mile of mm. keeping a record, mm. so that for, for their finite minds exactly. and for their created minds, they can be able to see for themselves. And they can that he has been fair. That he has been fair. Cre creation, yes. At the end of the day, mm. then we are able mm. to say, God, mm. just are your works. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. And uh, you, you've touched a lot on, on, on judgment. Mm. And it, 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 it uh, you just reminded me of the book of, um, is it, uh, it's, it's First Peter, uh, where he talks about uh, the judgment that starts in the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. That um, we, we as Christians as well, we need to understand that is there is judgment that yes. is going on. Yes. What it starts in the house of God. What will happen to mm. the unbelievers? Hey. The righteous. The Bible says the righteous is scarcely saved. What? The righteous is scarcely saved. Mm. Now, when you sit down and think about that, you, 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 you I, I was, uh, in fact, when I was thinking about that, I was like, yo, there's a lot of work to be done. Mm. Mm. One needs to to totally surrender himself to Christ mm. for him to be That's able it. to be in that book. Yes. Amen. And that, let us That's also it. notice that the end time church, yeah. there are those that God will choose to redeem, like the three Hebrew boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are those that God will allow to go through Matthias Dome, like like Stephen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, for those who have died, mm -hmm. God promises us a resurrection. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. He says the resurrection is coming, mm. yeah. where all my children will be raised, mm. and I take them home. Let yeah. us uh, uh, look at the words of Paul in particular in Romans uh, yeah. eight, uh, chapter 8, verses 18. He says, for I reckon that the suffering of the Please. present times yeah. are not worthy to be compared yeah. with what shall be revealed. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul looks... Um, into the future, yes, into the persecution of the children of God and the current situation that he was going through. And Paul realizes that even if I die today, mm -hmm. even if God's children die, there is a resurrection that is coming. Mm -hmm. And he looks beyond the resurrection. Mm -hmm. He looks at the assurance and the promise of us entering into the city through the gates. Mm -hmm. And then he says, our mm -hmm. present problems mm -hmm. cannot be compared Mm. To the glory that will meet that will in that that will be revealed mm. in the time to come. Mm -hmm. Not only that, uh, when we speak resurrection, the author then draws us to the fact that we don't die, but we sleep. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we don't die; we sleep. Mm. It is a temporal phase of coma. Yes. Mm. The reason why we have been given the ability to sleep is because Jesus has conquered death. Yeah. Hence, Paul says, we are more than conquerors in Christ yeah. Jesus. Yeah. What can yeah. separate us from his love? Yeah. Is it death? No. no. Mm. We are more than conquerors yeah. in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So we look forward to the resurrection. It's already ours. Mm -hmm. We can claim it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, those who believe in Christ, death is but a sleep. Mm -hmm. Because we are already conquerors. Resurrection mm -hmm. is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, <laughs> he says in, 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 in verse 13, but go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest. Mm. Mm. Thou shalt rest. Like you've been working. That's why you say, hey, they shall rest from their labors. Is it is it Revelation 14? Revelation chapter 14. Yes, mm. when he says, for mm. blessed are those that die in the Lord, for they shall rest from their labors. Yes. Mm. 
rest and and and, and their works shall follow yeah. them and all that yeah mm-hmm. there's not mm-hmm. these words sleep and rest are mm-hmm. not indicating finality mm-hmm. 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 There, there is no finality indicated by these two exactly. words well, this exactly. this death that we fear we fear because of the separation that it has mm-hmm. uh, from mm-hmm. from from the living and from the plans that we have and from the people that we love mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but when we really look at it from what god actually says in his word yeah. he says yeah. don't be afraid of those that can kill the body but can do nothing to the soul mm. fear him that can do both mm. and god is god is not doing that now now mm. the funerals that we all attend over the weekend god is not doing that now he's not he's not destroying body and soul he's mm. just allowing bodies to rest Exactly. Just allowing exactly. people to rest from their works. Whether they are wicked or they are righteous, just allowing people to rest from their works. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. one day, he will raise us up, yeah. all of us, yeah. to account for yeah. the works that he allowed us to rest from. Yeah. Yes. Some of us will get a reward for our works, and that is judgment, that is for eternal condemnation. Mm. Some of us will get a reward for our works that we rested from, and that is eternal life. Mm. It just depends. Mm. Mm. When are you rest? Mm. What, are you, what are you resting from? Wicked works? Mm. Good works? What are, you, what are you resting from? Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm looking at um, as we are talking about death um, I'm looking at the book of Daniel itself how it started as you have mentioned earlier that it starts with um, uh, the, the people of God being captured mm-hmm. and then you look at uh, the book of Revelation uh, uh, Genesis chapter 3 when it, when, when, when it begins it begins with um, the enemy Coming into the camp of the of the, of of the of God's children mm-hmm. um, uh, in the Garden of Eden, and then when the Bible itself when it ends, it it, it ends with, with with victory. Mm. We 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 uh, the death being conquered, and the, the, the children of God entering into the city, and and the Book of Daniel as well as it starts with those bad news, the children of God uh, being uh, captured. When it ends. Mm. It gives us the promise as well yeah. that this is what is going to happen at yes, the end. Yes. You should not despair. You should not uh, fear what happens in between. At the end, this is what Michael, Christ himself, this is what he will do mm. at the end. Mm. So therefore, go and rest mm. because you have done well. Yes. Mm. So when you did well in the eyes of God and God has approved your works, then you have nothing to worry about because at the end, you will be resurrected to life. Yes. But if you did not do well, as uh, chapter 12 states, that some to everlasting life, some to shame. Mm. 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 And also let's look at scriptural evidence, mm. just mm. in case somebody thinks we're saying a fairy tale. Mm. Let's look at scriptural evidence that resurrection is there, it is real. Mm. Lazarus dies mm. after four days. The body is already beginning to rot. Mm. He is resurrected back to life. Mm. Let us also look at Prophet Elisha. Mm. He dies, buried, bones are left. Mm. A dead body is thrown in his grave. It is immediately resurrected. Mm. Yeah. So which means life remains in our bones even when we are in the grave. Mm. Because that is evidence mm. that mm. Christ has conquered death. Look at Daniel in the lion's den. There is a line that death cannot cross mm. when it comes to people of God. Yeah. I mean, death was evident mm. in yeah. that day. Mm. Daniel should have died. Mm. If we don't think death was evident, what happened to the people that were thrown after Daniel? Mm. Mm. They were eaten. Yeah. Yeah. But God yeah. never allowed death to cross that line mm. that day mm. to show that God has power even over wow. death. Mm. Now, mm. The word of God says, Daniel is given the book. He's told, seal it. Mm. Mm. Seal it, man of God, mm. until the end of time. Yeah. And, mm. and, and go and rest. Mm. Um, it is very interesting, um, uh, the, the selling part of the, uh, the selling of the book. Um, the writer of, of, of our lesson says here, yeah, at, con- at, at, at the conclusion of the last major sections of the book of Daniel, mm. uh, chapter 10, 1 to 12, the prophet receives a command to sell the scroll until the time of the end. Mm-hmm. In the same breath, the angel predicts that many shall run to and fro. Mm-hmm. And knowledge shall increase. increase. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is where I wanted to get uh, get to. Mm-hmm. Although some students of, the, of, of, of Daniel have taken these words as a prediction of uh, scientific pro- progress, mm. which also conclude, uh, which, which shall, could be included in the meaning then the context seems to indicate that a running to and fro refers to searching the book of Daniel mm. itself. Mm-hmm. Indeed, as we look back into, into history, we note that Daniel remained 
an obscure piece of literature for centuries. It may have been known and studied in some places, but some of its key teachings and prophecies remained mysterious. Mm. For example, the prophetic message related to the purification of the heavenly sanctuary, the judgment, the, identi the, the identity, and the work of the little horn, along with the time frame related to these prophecies, were far from clear. Mm. So basically, this book that was sealed, um, f reading from what the writer says here, it actually gives us an idea what it is that was sealed. It is actually the book of Daniel itself. Yeah. People did not understand the book itself. It was still sealed in the eyes and the minds of people until a certain time where God decided to reveal it to men. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Can I can I just link this maybe with 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 the with the next the next portion that talks about the waiting time? Mm. Just briefly, uh, we can enter into that as mm. you as 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 you link. We can it. actually mix the two yes. mm. for the sake of time. Yeah, okay. you know. Um, it said, seal it up to the time of the end, mm. right? Mm. And when you look at chapter 12, it yeah. gives three timelines. Yes. Mm. And in these timelines, they're all a response to the time of the end. How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Mm. And he says, unto 1260, um, well, time, time, times, and the dividing of time, which is the same as 1260 that we saw in Revelation 42 months mm. as well. Um, and then at the end there in verse 11, um, it says, from the time of the taking away of the daily sacrifice will be 1,290. And it says, blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the 1,335, right? Mm. But go your way and you will stand in your lead at the end of these days. Mm. Mm. Of these, the days. Now, the it's sealed. Yes, it is sealed. Mm. And all of these are culminating to the time of the end. Yes. Mm. And when you look at the time of the end, you look at the fact that there was an interest mm. now mm. in the book of in Daniel. The book of Daniel. Mm. Because yes. now we have reached the time of the yes. end. Mm. Right? Mm. And the one thing that I ask myself is, mm. why was it so important for, for it to reach the time of the end? Mm. And I actually realized that they would not have been able to apply mm. the prophecies in Daniel because mm. some of the activities there were yet to were yet, were to, yet happen. to happen. Mm. Yes. When yes. we when we look at it from from 1798, we're looking backwards, mm. and we can see the fulfillment the of, of yes. this, and mm. we can be mm. able to say, yeah, no, I, yeah, we, you, you understand? We can yes. be able to connect the dots, and mm. we can make yes. reference to mm. history, mm. and God is very clear that He is in control. He knows what is going to transpire mm. and when it's going to transpire. And he's showing us the level of control that he has. Mm. And for me, the one thing that I learn in the close of the book of Daniel mm. is a proof of what happened in chapter 1. In chapter 1, when Nebuchadnezzar thought he was in charge and somehow he was powerful and went to conquer Israel, it says the Lord gave the Lord gave his people into his hands. God was always in control. Mm -hmm. And in, in the book of Daniel, we get that very clear. Well, I was in control from the beginning when I sent you there. Mm -hmm. And I was in control when I was giving you these prophecies. Even though Nebuchadnezzar thought, well, I can override them and create a, a full statue of gold. No, but when I said, you are the head, you are the head. Mm -hmm. Other people must also come into the scene because I'm getting to the feet. I want to see the kingdom, the stone. I want to see that. Mm -hmm. Because this is where we're going. Mm -hmm. So God is maintaining control right throughout the book of Daniel mm -hmm. to the point that he literally tells us it will happen during these days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you go to Revelation, you go to the book that takes you back and and, and it, it, it needs you to have an understanding of the kingdoms of Daniel for mm -hmm. you to be able to mm -hmm. grasp it. Mm -hmm. That is why it was important for the book of Daniel to be opened because Revelation needed to be a revealed book mm -hmm. as it is. Mm -hmm. We cannot yeah. run away from it. Mm -hmm. We can't yeah. run away from Daniel. And, and just mm -hmm. on that point, um, I'm looking also at, at chapter 12, of verse 9. Mm -hmm. It says, And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for mm -hmm. the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen to verse 10. Many shall be purified mm -hmm. and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. Mm -hmm. And none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand. Yes. Mm. Many will be purified yes. by a knowledge of these sealed prophecies. Yes. Mm. Especially the ones that we see from, from the section of 7 to 12. Yeah. Yeah. Many will be purified by a knowledge of, of, of these prophecies. It yeah. will purify our lives. It comes also to the intent of prophecy. Mm. It is not for intelligence. No. Mm. But prophecy is to purify our souls mm. as we see the agency mm. of God's approaching kingdom. Yeah. And the last verse, verse 18 says, But go thy way, Till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot in the last days. Mm. The book of Daniel, here we get that Daniel will stand in his lot 
in the last days. The prophecies of Daniel will be known in the last days. Mm. That's why when you go to Matthew chapter 24, verse 15, uh, Jesus says, when you see the abomination of desolation stand in this place, Mm. spoken by Daniel the prophet, let he who reads understand. Mm. So in these last days, we are sent to the headquarters of the book of Daniel to understand the prophecies for the purification of our souls. Mm. 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 And on that that verse that you just quoted, um, um, Matthew 24, verse 15, let him who who reads, understand, yes. right? Yeah. And Daniel is saying that only the wise will understand. Will understand. Yeah. Exactly. Only the wise will understand. Yeah. yeah, you can read You can read away as much as you want to read, exactly. but only but the wise let, Let's zoom that. The, the wisdom. Those the who are wisdom. wise are those who fear the Lord. Yes. And fear the fear the of the Lord is to keep his commandments. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let us yeah. also see that towards the end of time, knowledge has increased. Yeah. Science knowledge has increased. Yeah. The book of Daniel is supposed to be understood, yet yeah. it is not understood. It draws us, draws us back to uh, Belshazzar. Yeah. An armless hand writes, yeah. the magician the astrologers, the intelligence of the then is yeah. called. They can't read it yeah. until Daniel is called. Yeah. Yeah. It comes back to the end of time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That the word of God shall be interpreted only by those yeah. who choose to be with God. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Um, last few gems before we close. You <laughs> see, we've run out of time. Okay. Um, for me, I believe um, John fourteen twenty nine is key. Um, it says, and now I have told you before it come to pass, mm-hmm. that, when it, that when it is come to pass, you might believe. Mm-hmm. Prophecy is about strengthening our faith in God. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It strengthens exactly. our faith in God. Mm-hmm. 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 Amen. In conclusion to our lesson today, our viewers at home, we are closing the book of Daniel. Mm-hmm. I'm sure we have seen different characters in the book of Daniel. And today we are able, we mm-hmm. are able to see to which character do we feed in. Let's look at the character of Nebuchadnezzar. Blessed are the Nebuchadnezzars, because at a certain time, they had time to go and eat with the beasts, kneeling, eating grass. But blessed be the name of the Lord, mm-hmm. because Nebuchadnezzar got converted and glorified the Lord of heaven. Let's look at Belshazzar. I would say be careful, Belshazzars. Mm-hmm. Don't get intoxicated. Judgment mm-hmm. is coming. Mm-hmm. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. That which a man soweth, he shall surely reap. Mm-hmm. Job said, they mm-hmm. saw wickedness and evil, and such they shall reap. Mm-hmm. And prophet Hosea says, they have sown into the wind, mm-hmm. and they shall reap the will wind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the Daniels mm-hmm. of today, I'm saying, continue daring to be Daniels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For our God is still there on the throne. Mm-hmm. The little horn might come. Mm-hmm. It is but for a little while. Yeah. Because our God has promised that he shall stand up for us. Amen. He who is coming shall surely come. Amen. So we should not be scared. Lord. We should be of good courage Amen. because our God is truly coming. And then we close in Revelation by saying, in Revelation 22 verses 20, Amen. he who testifies about these things oh. says, surely I am coming soon. Yes, Even Lord. so, Amen. Oh. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. We have closed the book of Daniel. Amen. The new series that is coming, the main topic says how to interpret scripture and our first subtopic will be saying the uniqueness of the bible may the lord keep you beloved may he give you courage walk in this road knowing that he is with you until then may the good lord bless you system calls will pray for us Amen. god bless pray. hallelujah our father we thank you lord for this beautiful Amen. book we thank you father for strengthening our faith we ask you father god that you may remove the fear of this book father god and help us to realize the gems that you have placed there for our salvation and for you to help carry us, Father God, to the end of time until we meet Jesus Christ. Make us wise, Lord. Help us to fear you, dear Father God, and to receive that gift of salvation that you have given us in Christ. We pray all of these things in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Amen.